Hey, Shalom. Call Halayim. La Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Kadash. Double honor to the head elders, apostles, and bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, Akim, throughout the world. This brother Yaza Yun, just real quick, you know what I mean? Uh, this is a book that, you know, which the scriptures say, uh, my son, be admonished for the making of many books, there is no end. But there are certain books out there which brothers already know, but um, dealing with your younger brothers a few sisters, whoever you may be, that's uh, learning about this truth. You know, um, be careful about them books. You know, uh, all, don't don't get overwhelmed with reading too many books. You know, but there is certain books that are um, additions to uh, this truth, the, 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 just to prove, you know, the facts, okay? You know, you, know, you have different um, genres of books or whatnot. And uh, I guess this book called Chosen People from the Caucus, it could fall under uh, history, a historical book. All right, and it goes into it's by Michael Bradley, a foreword by John Henry Clark. Jewish origins, delusions, deceptions, and historical role in the slave trade, genocide, and cultural colonization, which is definitely history of you know what this uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding is all about. And uh, in this book, in the foreword, you'll find. Uh, some truth, you know, just like uh, we use books like Babylon and Timbuktu. We use uh, records like the uh, Bible Dictionary, Oxford Bible Dictionary, and, you know, different other books that back up the history and back up the truth of the scriptures. That's, you know, that's mainly the point. Now, right here in this book, uh, Chosen People from the Caucus, right? It goes into what? It says, Today, a large number of so-called black Americans think of the Jews as the people of the book. And they look more f favorably on them than other Caucasians. Right? Meaning you, the so-called Jews, right? Now, dealing with those so-called Jews, listen up. Right? These poorly informed blacks do not know that the Jews of Europe played the same role in their enslavement, oppression, and colonization as other Europeans. Okay? This is why the chosen people from the caucus will cause heads to shake, change many minds, and challenge people to discard their long-held fantasy about the Jewish people of Europe and the assumption that they were friendly toward so-called African people over... And over and above the other Europeans which proves that what what the scripture says right here in Revelation chapter 2 verse 9 I know thy works and tribulation and poverty but thou art rich and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan so the so called Jews who are known to be the Jews those that are out, out there in the uh, holy land of Israel all right, are not man Okay, there's also another book um, called The 13th Tribe by Arthur Kosler that we also go into as well to prove that what? That, which the, the inspiration of that book that Arthur Kosler wrote was there couldn't be uh, these so-called white people couldn't be Jews, the real Jews. All right. They couldn't be the real Jews because you would have to have a 13th tribe, which there's only 12 tribes, but more so. All right, their their line goes back to Esau, Edom, man. You see, and who's the ones that's really that this scripture uh, applies to the the tribulation and poverty, the so-called blacks, okay, Hispanics and Native Americans, man. Yeah, I just wanted to you know put that out there, you know, uh, for what it's worth, man. All right, shalom.